Aloha. Aloha kakahiaka. Welcome to Kulaivi. Let's go to our vignette. Sit back, relax. Remember what I said. Pay attention to the keywords. Pay attention to those things that you do know. And those things that you don't know, don't worry, okay? We'll go over them. I'll see you as soon as we're po. Ahoi ho. Aloha. Make make wow e heli kahului ke olo olo. Ai heli wow e ka aho olo aloha vai i. Oh my kai. O vai koi noa. O luna nui ko ui noa o hana a o tunane luna nui ko ui noa pi. Ah e pelo mai a he aha kau helu telefona. O kunane ke u nu a ko nu e. Mai olo lo viki viki e hana ho ke olo olo. Kalo mai kunane. Ke u nu a ko nu e luna nui la u nu a nu u i. Hello, California. Valu ha lua, valu lua kahi ha. Valu ha lua, valu lua kahi kolu. Aole. Valu ha lua, valu lua kahi ha. Okay, kalamai valu lua kahi ha. Aye, follow me. Okay, kana valu kuma valu kala ke olu olu. Aya. Aye, ha kau kala. Aye, pa ha kala ilo ko ko eke. Yeah. Aye, ha kala ilo ko ko eke. Ena na oe. A ole, a oe. Aye, pa ha maki ka. Ko iwa. Oli kiki kia. Ko aye oe kali kiki makulele. Aye, ha kau kala. Aye, makanoho. A ole. Aye, malalo kanoho. A ole. Aye, maloko nei. A oe ya. Kelawa e ayam mahaya kaum mea pa iki e. E a ayah e nana i ka uki i o malani. Ay aloha nui o i kela kane. Ay o ku ui po ke kane i kaika loa o ku ui po ke kane no hea loa o ku ui po ke kane. O ka ui po ka pua an nui. Sa a ole loa lili oi. Ay lili wa ay nui oi ya. Ay a ka vivi oi ya. A pehea wau. Ai, aka mai wau, olu olu wau, olelo Hawaii wau, e noho kaua maluna o kela moku. O ka hoa lawe kela moku, awe, hupule oe e kunane. Aloha wau ya oe, aka o oe kuu ho aloha. Ai, maupupo ya u, o oe kuu ho aloha, o oe kuu tika. A oe ya. Kala mai, aloha nui oe ya malani, a oe ya kuu ho apili, noka mea olu olu oe ya, laki olu. Nā, nā, aia o malani mā oe, kali nei a kaua. Aloha, how was that? Ua mai kai, ai, maupopo ia oko, maupopo, understand ia oko, ai, a ole. They were a little viki viki, yeah, the way they spoke. Okay, let's start. Let's look at what he says first, okay? She asks him, o wai kou i noa, and he says, o luna nui kou i noa o hana. Iki no, nana kako. O luna nui, ko u i noa ohana. Okay? O luna nui, ko u i noa ohana. Mai kai. Ohana, we got this pretty much. Yeah, um, instead of saying ko u i noa hope, my last name, we used ohana. Ko u i noa ohana. So, o luna nui, ko u i noa ohana. O wai ko u i noa ohana. O... E kela o kala mai o kani au pio ko ui noa ohana. Iki no o kani au pio. I could just replace this. Okay. What if I was to ask you o wai ko ui noa ohana? Are you saying o kamaka vivo ole ko ui noa ohana o kaniho ko ui noa ohana? I know Mrs. Kaniho is watching. Okay, with her family because I met you this week, so you could say that o kaniho ko ui noa ohana. Okay. Hiki no. 
When he wants to tell her that his full name, complete name, is Kunane Lunanui, he says, O Kunane Lunanui, Ko'ui noa piha. Piha, okay? I know we hear this word when you pow eat, you say, oh, piha ka'opu. Yeah, the stomach is full. Same thing here, okay? Ko'ui noa piha. O Kunane Lunanui, Ko'ui noa piha. Micah, and while he's spelling, when he's spelling, he's saying, um, he, he's kind of spelling too fast for her. And so she says, My olelo viki viki ke olu olu. And remember we had this earlier. Remember the commands, E um, olelo oi. E olelo havai oi. E hele mai oi. E hele aku oi. I. And the opposite of telling someone to do something, E whatever, is mai. Yeah? Mai hele aku. Mai hele mai. Yeah, my hele my, my olelo. So in this case, she tells him, my olelo viki viki ke olu olu, viki viki, quickly, fast. Okay, so my olelo viki viki, my olelo viki viki ke olu olu, ke olu olu. Once again, is are you thinking? <laughs> Please, that's right. My olelo viki viki ke olu olu. So he slows down, I, and he says it again. Then she tells him how much it's going to be, and he gets worried. What does he say? Where is my money? I'm going to give you some time. Just think about that. How would you say, where is my money? Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Aya hea. Remember, we had this last week. Aya hea or aya ma hea. My money. Kaukala. Kaukala. Yeah. Aya hea kaukala. Hey, Kino, let's take a look at that. Well, let's take a look first at what she told him. My olelo viki viki ke olu olu. My olelo viki viki ke olu olu. Hey, Kino. Okay. Remember this mai is the opposite of a, right? If if the mai was a, we would have speak quickly, <laughs> please, okay? My olelo viki viki ke olu olu. He kino. When he realizes he doesn't have his money, he says, Awe, aya. Okay? Aya. That's a real Hawaiian thing to say when you realize something went wrong. Aya. Aya ihea kaukala. Okay? Aya ihea kaukala. Now you may be thinking, hey, what is this kau over here? I've seen kau for my. What is this kau? Let's talk a little bit about that. Okay? We've seen ko, ko, kona, okay? Now we're beginning to see kau. Well, there's also kau, kau, and kana, okay? My, yours, his. When do we know when to use an o, like in ko, and when do we use an a, like in kau, okay? It's simple, but it's tedious, okay? You just have to kind of remember these rules, okay? All things, and we're talking about the thing that's being owned. In this case, it's kala. Um, let's say inoa. Let's use that because we're ma'at to say oi ko inoa o ekela ko inoa, right? We used o for that one. Because inoa is something that you're born with. You're given at birth. You have no control over, okay? Those are the old kinds of things. Things you don't have control over having. Um, things that you really don't have a choice in. Um, and things that you're born with, things that you can get into or on top of, okay? Now, just instead of writing all this down really fast, think about it, okay? These are very personal things, getting into or on top of something, something you're born with, something you have no choice in having, and something you have no control over having, okay? So when you think about your family, the old people are people like your makua, your makuahine, your makuakane, your kupuna kane, your kupuna wahine. Okay, those are all kinds like ko'u kupuna kane, ko'u kupuna wahine, ko'u makuakane, ko'u makuahine. Okay, now you're sitting there going, okay, so what are the ah things? The ah things are things that you acquire during life, okay, that you do not get into on top of, okay, so things like money, okay. Now some people will say, Wait, money is an old kind of thing because it's something you need to survive. 
there could be an argument there, okay? Um, I, to me, my bottom line, and I'm sure I'll get a little bit of flack for this, but my bottom line is, if you can justify why you use or, uh, it's up to you which one you want to use, because um, some things are certainly all, oh, like your kupuna, your makua, a va'a, a ka'a, yeah, the canoe, the car, va'a, ka'a, things that you can get into, okay? But your keiki are things that you acquire during life. You have choice, okay? So I was meeting, we have no choice, okay? But we do. Um, my students are a uh, ka'u haumana, and I am a uh, to them, so they can say, oh, ka'u kumu, or ekela ka'u kumu, okay? So he says, I am here ka'u kala, okay? And he thinks about it, he runs to the ka'a, okay? And he says, Aya paha kau kala iloko kau eke. See this paha? This is not something new. We've had this paha before. But in this case, it says, maybe it's maybe your money is where? Iloko o kau eke. Now, does everybody remember what iloko was? Iloko? Are you thinking? Inside. My kai. Okay? So, Aya paha kau kala iloko kau eke. Okay, you see how these two things, kala and eke, are things that you acquire or things that you have a choice in having. And that's why we're seeing ko change to kau with a kahako. See this kahako? Kau kala, kau eke. Okay, so if you don't want to say, and, and so if you wanted to respond, yeah, maybe my money is in my bag. All that changes in this pattern is this. These two words, right? He said, you tell him, Eh, hey, aya paha kau kala iloko kau eke. And Kunani responds, Ay, aya paha kau kala iloko kau eke. Simple, ma'alahi. Yeah, that's not pa kiki. That's not hard. You can figure that one out, okay? Aya paha kau kala. And this paha goes right behind aya, okay? Maybe. There's some doubt. Paha always shows a little doubt that something is, is maybe it's in your bag, okay? Aya paha kau kala iloko kau eke, okay? And he responds and says, Aya paha ma kou kaa, okay? The thing that's in the car is understood. That's where it would have gone right in here, okay? We would, if we were to say, um, yeah, maybe my money is in the car, in my car. We would have put it here. Aya paha kau kala ma kou kaa. Okay? But it's understood because we've established what we're talking about, so we don't have to repeat it again, okay? And we can just get away with saying, Aya paha ma kou kaa. Okay? He kino. He gets into the car and he says, Aya ki kala ma kanoho. Okay? Or ayakikala, let's say, on top of the chair. Are you thinking, do you remember this from last week? On top of something? Ma, if you said, ma luna polole oi. Hikino, ma luna okanoho. Ayakikala, ma luna okanoho. Ayakikala, malalo okanoho. Okay. Now, he doesn't say this next one, but just for the sake of knowing the word, okay? Aya kikala makapapa hele. This is kind of a neat word. It means floor. And if you look at it, you can understand why it's floor. Papa is a flat surface, okay? Could be board, could be reef, could be this flat surface, okay? Aya kikala makapapa hele. Yeah? This flat surface where you hele on. Papa hele. Floor. Aya kikala maka papa hele. And I. Aya kikala maka papa hele. But in his case, he finds it inside that little compartment between the two seats and he says, Aya kikala iloko nei. Okay, he doesn't say this part. He says, Aya kikala iloko nei. And some of you may be wondering, what is that nay? This nay is to say here, right here, okay? Is the money inside here, okay? That's why you've heard um, people say Honolulu nay, okay? 
Like no hoao ma honolulu nei. No hoao ma honolulu nei. Okay? Hard for you to say no hoao ma honolulu nei if you're sitting in Hilo. Okay? Nei is used for where you where you are at the moment. Okay? So that's why he says, Ayake kala iloko nei. And he opens up his saying, Ay, Ayake kala iloko nei. A oya. Okay? And we threw that in there because we want everyone to, um, to, Recognize that that's how you say, oh, that's it. That's the one, okay? So now you have a new little thing that you can walk around saying to people, okay? Ah, oya, okay? When you hear me tell you, ah, oya, it's because you probably said it correctly, okay? Ah, oya. You want to say that with me? Ah, oya. What is the word for floor? Papa hele. Hikido? Okay, papa hele. So somebody asks you, oh, mama, I am a here kapopoki. I am a here kapopoki. Oh, I am kapopoki. Maka papa hele. Okay. Okay. Hikino. They're on the plane and the kuene, the stewardess, or we call them flight attendants now, yeah, said, enana o ko maka au au hema. Okay. Do you remember this from last week? Maka au au hema. Which way? This way, this way. This is my au au hema. Okay. Maka au au hema. Hikino, okay. And what was the other side? Maka ao ao ako, my kai. Okay. Enana o ko maka ao ao hema. So what is she saying? Enana o ko maka ao ao hema. Okay. Hikino. Okay. So she says enana o ko maka ao ao hema. Enana o ko maka ao ao ako. Okay. Hanaho. Enana o ko maka ao ao hema. Enana o ko maka ao ao ako. She begins to point things out. Let's take a look at that. Okay. Enana o ko maka ao ao hema. Hikino. On your left side. Maikai. Okay. And look on the right side. What if, now I'm going to throw in a little thing here. I want you to think. What if she said, look to your right side, not just the right side. How many of you know which word to change? Huh? Enana oko maka ao ao ako should be changed to what? If you're going to say, if she wants to tell, tell all of you to look to your right side. Your right side. Okay. Okay. And she's talking to only one person. That means we can change oko to... Oe, okay. Enana oe ma ko au au ako. Hikino, you look to your right side. My kai, okay. Hikino, he asks her, I am a here kau mea pa ikii. This is just for new vocab. I'd like you to learn mea pa ikii. Hikino. Mea paikii camera. Okay? I'm not gonna take take it all apart. I just want you to remember that. Mea paikii. Okay? Mea paikii. And once again we're using kao and uh, ko because you don't come out of your mama's womb with a mea paikii. Okay? So if you're not born with this thing, it must be an ah kind of thing. Okay? And you don't get into your mea paikii. Okay? Camera, mea paikii. Mai kai. Okay? All right, let's take a look at this next one. This is the new pattern. O ku'uipo. Okay, now this is two words. A lot of us think ku'uipo is one word. It's not because it's made, It's a name. When it's a name, you can put, you know, the words together. But when it's, um, when we're using it in a sentence, it's actually two separate words, okay? Ku'u, meaning my, and ipo. Now you're sitting there going, oh my God, we have ko'u and we have ka'u. What is this ku'u thing? Okay. Only with my do we have this kind of possessive, okay? Ku'u refers to things that you have affection for, that you have love for, okay? So ipo, obviously, I hope, is something that you have affection for, you have some aloha for. And so you refer to it with an endearing possessive, okay? Ku'u ipo, my beloved sweetheart, my 
you know, my beloved, whatever it is. Okay, now some people like to say ku'u ka'a, you know, my beloved ka'a. And um, that's really, you know, that's, I mean, if you feel aloha to your ka'a, he can know, you know, ku'u ka'a. But you could say, oh, ku'u vahine, ku'u kane, okay, that's what that ku'u is, okay. So, lawa'e says, o ku'u ipo, ke kane ikaika loa. We've had ikaika before, okay, loa vary. O ku'u kane, or o ku'u ipo, ke kane ikaika loa. Those are two things that we put together. That one is this, okay? O ku'u ipo, ke kane ikaika loa. Are you thinking what that could possibly be? She says, o ku'u ipo, ke kane ikaika loa. O ku'u ipo, ke kane no hea loa. O, and he turns around, he tells her, O kao ipo kapua anui. Okay? Are you following me? You see how he turns around? He refers to her ipo, your ipo, as kao ipo. Yeah? Why? Because this is not something she's born with, not something she gets into or, well, okay, on top of. Um, or it's not something that she has, she has no choice in having or no control. Okay? This, it's quite the opposite. She has choice. She has control, and she's acquired this person during in her lifetime. So it's an all kind of thing. So he turns around and he tells her, O kao ipo kapua anui. Now let's take a look at this, and I'll show you why it's called an equation, because one part is the same as the other. Okay? Let's take a look. O kuu ipo ke kane ikaika loa. My sweetheart is the very strong guy. Okay? O ku'u ipo ke kane ikaika loa. O ku'u ipo ke kane no hea loa. Okay? Then he tells her, O ka'u ipo ka pua anui. Okay? O ka'u ipo ka pua anui. And where's the iku part of you? Over here, yeah? Your sweetheart is what? The pua anui. What is pua a? Pig. Okay, o kau ipo ka pua anui. Hikino? Pua anui. Okay, your ipo is a big pua a. Okay, big pig. And does he sound a little lili? Okay, she tells him, lili oi. Yeah? Lili oi. Lili. What is lili? Jealous. Okay? Jealous, Lili, okay? Hiki no. Lili oi. Let's take a look. And then, you know, it goes on. He said, she, you know, he tells her that he, you know, yeah, Lili vow, you know. And she says, oh, way, you know. And then he tells her, let's, you know, e no ho kawa maluna o ke la moku. I'm going to say that again. I want you to listen. E no ho kawa, kawa, remember this kawa? Maluna. Okela Moku. Okela Moku. Moku Island. And she looks out the window and she goes, Kunari. Okaho Olave Kela Moku. Yeah? Okaho Olave Kela Moku. Like, he, she would really like to go move with Kunane to Kaho Olave. Maybe one day, but not right now. Aye? And she says, Okaho Olave Kela Moku. Pupule oi. Aye? Okay, that's another one of those sentences. Okay, let's take a look. O kaho olave ke la moku. You see how you just take two things and you can just put them together to make because they're the same thing. O kaho olave ke la moku. That moku is kaho olave. Kaho olave is that moku. Okay? Hiki no? Okay. Now I want you to think. Taking this pattern, I hope you've recognized that this pattern starts with O. Okay? That's how the pattern starts off. All of them. This kind of pattern starts with O. So I want you to tell me, you are my beloved friend. Okay? Now you don't have to think about what is beloved because I just told you, if you use, if you use a certain word for my, you're going to use the right word, the word that shows affection, okay? So you are my friend. I'll give you some time. Think about that. Okay? You, just one you, okay? Because I know you're sitting out there going, well, how many you do you want? Do you want oi, olua, o go? Okay? What oi? 
All right. What do you think, he? Ooi. Ku'u. Friend. What is friend? Ho'aloha. Okay? Ooi. Ku'u. Ho'aloha. That's right. See how simple? It's just you. Ooi. Ku'u. Ho'aloha. You know, it's kind of like me, Jane, you, Tazan, yeah? You are whatever, okay? Ooi. Ooi. Ku'u ho aloha. Ooi ka'u haumana. Haumana. Yeah? Ooi ke kane. If you are kane. Ooi ka vahine. If you are wahine. Yeah? Yeah, you know Dennis Kabakahi's song, Pua Hone? He's, that's the first verse. It's this pattern. He says, Ooi ka vahine a ke aloha. Yeah? You are the woman of love. Wow, yeah, you see, they go, yeah, I heard that song before. Now you understand what it says. Ooi kavahine ke aloha, of love, ke aloha. Okay, so let's take a look at that. You are my friend. Ooi kuuho aloha. What if I wanted to say, all of you are my friends. Ooko, ooko, kuu mau ho aloha. Yeah, remember that mau? That word that just makes it S on the word, okay? Mau ho aloha. You put mau in front of it and you make it plural without changing the meaning of anything because mau doesn't have meaning. It just just makes it plural. O o ko ku'u mau ho aloha. What if I only wanted to say two out of all you people who are watching are my friends? O o lua, o o lua, ku'u mau ho aloha. Hey, kino? My kai. Okay, let's take a look at that. O oi ku'u ho aloha. O oi ku'u ho aloha. Yeah? And what we did was replace this with o o ko. Yeah? Ku'u. And we just stuck mo in here so that we can make ho aloha more than one. Right? Because this is plural. We can't, I cannot say, all of you are my friend. Sounds a little weird, you know? All of you, o o ko ku'u mau ho aloha. Hiki no? O o ko ku'u mau ho aloha. Mai kai. He tells so her, you are my tita. Okay, now I know some of us don't like that word tita. Well, and some of us use it. So I'm just going to use it for the sake of those of us who do like it. Okay, tita comes straight from the word sister. Okay, and so that's why we have words like this. And it's really a slang. It's not real a real Hawaiian word. O oi ku'u tita, yeah? Because she tells him, you know, bra, o oi ku'u ho aloha, you know, you, you my ho aloha. And he says, I, o oi ku'u tita. Okay? Oya ku'u ho apili, okay? Oh, now what is this? This is oya. Remember oya? You see how we can use it? It's not o oya, oya, ku'u ho apili. My really, this is a really good friend, not just ho aloha, but a close companion. Okay, pili ho ho a pili oya ko'u ku'u ho a pili. I could use ko'u, that would work, but if I really want to show my aloha for this this person, ku'u hikino oya ku'u ho a pili. This is not a real difficult pattern because it's just taking one part. And saying whatever this is, it's also this side, okay? So he is my friend. Hikino? Aloha. Aloha. Aloha, oi koinoa. Uh, Ike koinoa. Aloha, Ike, and um, no hea mai oi. Uh, kahuku. Kahuku, aloha. How can I kokua you? Um, I just wanted to know the rule on na as plural because you mentioned mao. Yeah. As, as plural. Yeah. Na means the. Mm -hmm. Unlike mao, mao doesn't have meaning. You know, mo just kind of makes things plural. You put it in front of a noun and it goes plural. Mm -hmm. And the thing, the, the way it works in Hawaiian is you have, you should, well, you should have an article in front of a thing, okay? And then by an article, I mean like using ka, ke, or na, or a possessive, or ke la, ke ia, or ke na. One of those kind of words should go before a thing, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, if you use any of those words, like ke la, ke ia, ke na. Okay, say I want to say these books. Okay, then I would say ke ia mau puke. 
so that I don't change the mana'o of ke'ia, but I just want to make puke plural, uh -huh. so that it, it agrees, yeah? And that's all I'm doing. You just say ke'ia mau puke. The thing with na is, na is already plural, but it has meaning, and it means the. Uh -huh. Okay, so when you say na puke, you get the books. So you cannot say na mau puke, okay? Because then it would it, it would just be redundant because na is already plural. And you don't say ka mo puke because you have a word like na. Okay? Let's take a look here. Okay? Now, here we go. Ekahi, elua, ekolu, eha, elima. Hanaho. Ekahi, elua, ekolu, eha, elima. Eono. Make sure we're saying eono and not eono. Okay, there's no okina between the A and the O, so it should flow. Eono, maikae. Ehiku, evalu, eiva. And once again, it's not eiva. I hear a lot of people saying eiva. It's eiva. Eiva. You see this? Ei, eiva. Umi. Okay. Hanaho, eono, ehiku, evalu, eiva, umi. Okay. Okay, from umi, it's real simple to make 11, okay? So all we do is this, umi, and we have the old, the traditional way is umi kumama kahi, okay? But today, we, we hear a lot of people counting with kuma instead of kumama. Either one is correct, okay? I know like when I was raised in the church that I go to, everyone counts like this, umi kumama kahi, umi kumama lua, umi kumama kolu, okay, for 11, 12, 13. And then when I went to the university, all of a sudden, kumama changed to kuma. And uh, I thought, oh, you know what's going on? And it's funny because sometimes when I count around kupuna, they tell me, what is that kuma? Nobody counts like that. But it's just a shortened version of kumama, and it's not wrong, okay? It's just another way to do it. Neither is wrong. Both are correct. We just choose which one we want to use. So it's real simple. It kind of seems like we're saying 10 plus 1. Now, that's not what kumama really means, but if you think of it that way, it's probably easier to count. Okay, so if it's 12, then it's umi kumama lua. If it's 13, umi kumama kolu. Umi kumama ha, umi kumama lima. You know, it just goes on like that, okay? Until we get to 19, umi kumama eva. And you hear me saying that? Umi kumama eva, not umi kumama eva. You see what's happening here? All the e, let's take, let's, let me put this back. What happens is when you add it on to the other word, you see all of these e drop out. So that we have something like this. Umi kumama kahi. See, just the kahi goes over there. Okay? Umi kumama lua. Umi kumama kolu. Okay, 20 is probably the only strange one. It's iva ka lua. Iva ka lua. And once again, when you're going to make 21, simple. Iva ka lua kuma or kumama kahi. Iva ka lua kumama lua. Iva ka lua kumama kolu. Okay, and it goes like that all the way till you get to 29. This is the key word. If you can remember that, you can link the tens plus the ones real easy, okay? Iwa ka lua kumama hiku. What is that? Are you saying 27? Akamai. It's 27. Mai kai. After this, it goes on to the kana. And it stays real simple. Kana kolu. Kana ha. Kana lima. 60 would be... Okay, let me put that put that one back up for you so you can see. What would 60 be if Kanalima is Kanalima is 50? 60 would be Kanaono, right? We're still taking off the A. Kanaono. Hikino. And not Kanaono. Kanaono. No Okina. Okay? Kanaono. Kanahiku. Kanavalu. Kanaiva. Okay? And you want to say 99? Kanaiva kumaiva. 84. Kanavalu. Remember the kana? Kanavalu kumaha. Okay? Okay, now that shouldn't be that hard. And our last one for 100. Ho'okahi haneli. Okay? Ho'okahi haneli. 
100. Come straight from the word 100. Now, this is a new counting system. Um, you know, the traditional counting system was a base 4 kind of counting thing, okay? So um, let's take a look at, um, at our think time and see if you can do that, okay? It's asking you to tell your phone number, okay? So, like, our phone number in the, in the studio is Eva Eha Eono Ole, yeah, zero, Ole Ehiku Ole Ole. Okay, zero seven zero zero. Ole ehiku ole ole. Okay, and we're, we'll be going to our minuke ha'avina. Just that you have a little time. I'm gonna give you too much time because, like I said, we had a lot to do and we still have to watch our vignette again, so you can see how much you understand. Okay, but it's going to ask you to give your address and your phone number. Now, you know, an address would be something like um, ehiku ehiku ekahi ekahi ala nui ala nui. Road, street, way, lane, path, whatever. Ala nui o kamehameha. Okay? Like that. That's how you would do it. Okay? And try that again. Okay? Say you live on 7711, and you can do it either way. You can say kanahiku kumahiku umi kumakahi, or you can say ehiku ehiku, do them in single digits. Ehiku ehiku ekahi ekahi ala nui o kamehameha. Now, we did it both ways. I'm teaching you both ways. You can use the A in counting, like you're doing. But a lot of times, you hear when people are giving their phone number or they're giving their address, they take off the A. And that's what you hear in the vignette when Kunane gives his phone number. He just gives the number part, okay? So it would be something like, Valu ha lua, Valu lima ole eva. Call my Valu lima ole eva. You drop off the A. Okay, so give you some time, try that out, okay, in just a few seconds, and we'll be back. Okay, ahui ho. Hopefully, you've taken some time to think about how would you say your phone number in Hawaiian. Yeah, that's a simple one to start with. Um, you know, like if your number was 4561234, yeah? Ha, lima, ono, kahi, lua, kolu, ha. Yeah, real simple. And you, maybe you live on 94324 um, Huki Huki Drive, yeah? Eva ha kahi lua ha ala nui o huki huki. Huh? How is that? Okay. Anyway, something like that, real simple. Take the time to think about how you would say that. Phone number, kau helu kelepona. Address, kau helu hale. Real simple. Yeah. Helu hale, helu kelepona. Kelepona ring. Yeah. Telepona, telephona, same thing. Kelepona, okay. Um, all right, um, what is our value for today? It's ha'aheo, okay. Ha'aheo pride, to be proud, okay. And, um, you know, there's real pride and then there's false pride. I mean, there's definitely pride in being Hawaiian. And there's definitely pride in being able to olelo Hawaii, 
you know, and um, I was definitely ha'aheo to see last Sunday when we shot our vignette at, at the Halepule up at Kamehameha, to see so many people who watched Kulaivi. That was ha'aheo. Um, to me, it wasn't just ha'aheo for me, but it was ha'aheo for people to come on and say, yeah, you know, ha'aheo vo ika olelo hawaii. You know, I'm proud because of the Hawaiian language. So all of you who are not Hawaiian, who are learning the Hawaiian language, Ha'aheo Oko, you'd be proud because you're doing a part um, of of helping all of us out in Hawaii to preserve our mother tongue because that's just so important. Sit back, relax, enjoy, pay attention to the vignette, and I'll see you as soon as it's found. Ahui ho. Aloha. Make make wau e hele kahului ke olo olo. Ai hele mau e ka aho olo olo hawai i. Oh my kai. O vai ko i noa. O luna nui ko i noa o hana a o tunane luna nui ko i noa pi. Ah e pelo mai a he aha kau helu kalepona. O tunane ke u nu a ko nu e. Mai olo olo viki viki e hana ho ke olo olo. Kalo mai. Tunane ke u nu a ko nu e. Luna nui. La u nu a nu u i. Ah, hello, California. Valu ha lua, valu lua kahi ha. Valu ha lua, valu lua kahi kolu. Aole. Valu ha lua, valu lua kahi ha. Okay, kala mai, valu lua kahi ha. Aye, follow me. Okay, kana valu kuma valu kala ke olu olu. Aya, aye ha ka ukala. Aye pa kala ilo ko ko eke. Yaha. Ayah kita lai, lepas kau ek, enana orang. Ah, oleh, awe, ayah paham kita. Kau ibu. Oleh kita. Kau ayah kita kita bukan lele. Ayah kau kalah. Ayah makan noh. Ah, oleh. Ayah malalok kan noh. Ah, oleh. Ayah malalok ni. Ah, oya. Kela, he mo kupuni anoli ili kela aka haa hea loa na hawaii kea mo kupuni kea manawa. Kela wae, ayo mahea kaumea pa iki'i. Ea, aya, inanae ka ukii o maalani. Ai, aloha nui o i kela kane. Ai, o kuu i poke kane i kaika loa, o kuu i poke kane no hea loa, o kuu i poke kane... O kau i poka pua a nui. Sa, a ole loa, lili oi. Ai, lili wau. Ai nui oi ya. Ai, a ka vivi oi ya. Pehea wau. Pehea oi. Ai, a ka mai wau, olu olu wau, olelo Hawaii wau, e noho kau a maluna o kela moku. O ka ho olave ke la moku, awe, pupule oe e kunane. Aloha wau ya oe, a ka o oe ku uho aloha. Ae, mao pupo ya u, o oe ku uho aloha, o oe ku utika. A oe ya. Kala mai, aloha nui oe ya malani, a oe ya ku uho apili. No ka mea, olu olu oe ya, laki olu. E nana, aya o malani ma oe, kaline ya kaua. Aloha. Okay, wa mau popi ya oko, maki maki wau e mahalo ya oko, and maki maki wau ya oko e ho o ma ama. Yeah, I want you to practice. Okay, malama pono ahui ho kako malama pono ahui ho e kuana nikale aloha miku uvei aloha nui wau ya oko ahui ho.